Hey everybody, this is Joe from Sound Devices, and in today's Mix Pre Quick Tip, we're going to talk about the difference between trim gain and fader gain, and what it means for you on your Mix Pre. Come on back. So we have our Mix Pre set up here. This is a Mix Pre 6.2, and it's currently set in basic mode. And we do have a microphone over here, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So in basic mode, the only uh, audio control that we really have is using this front fader knob right here. So if we check that out on the mix pre, a little hot, there we are. So we can see my voice um, and essentially what our fader is doing, it's uh, controlling the amount of the level that's being sent to the LR mix, which is the only thing that's recordable while we're in basic mode. So it's just a one knob operation. Um, in basic mode, you won't be recording any of these individual isolated channels. So you'll wanna get a good balance of your channels um, that are being sent to the mix. And then this is different from advanced mode. So we're gonna switch over real quick to advanced. It's always good practice if you're switching the modes just to kinda put everything back to zero. So we're in advanced mode. And now we can see on the channel screen we have this little knob here. This is our trim gain. And this is the amount of level that's controlled for our isolated channel. So we'll do an experiment here. I have the trim gain turned up. We can see that it's very active on channel one. We can see that nothing's being fed to the LR mix. Uh, the ring LEDs while we're in basic mode are going to show you, uh, sorry, in basic mode, they'll just show you the total amount. In advanced mode, they're going to show you the isolated channel. So if I start to turn this up very slowly, we can see that now my voice is being fed to the LR mix and that's controlled on this fader. So it's important that you, uh, you have two different levels of gain staging here. So your trim gain is your isolated level for that track and then your fader gain, which is what's going to be sent to the mix. So advanced mode does give you more options for working with this in post.